हेलो एवरीवन फॉर्मूला 44 मेडिटेशन थीम फॉर दिस वीकेंड देर आर थ्री हॉलीडेज एट ए स्ट्रेच टुडे इज वैसाख डे इन सिंगापुर व्हिच इज द सेलिब्रेशन इन द ऑनर ऑफ लॉर्ड बुद्ध सो इट्स अ हॉलीडे एंड नेक्स्ट टू डेज सैटरडे एंड संडे सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो we spoke about the first chapter that how if we can just meditate on the first and the last verse of any chapter of bhagavad gita we get a very uh concise and beautiful idea of the entire chapter so the first chapter is arjun vishad yog lamentation by arjun about the consequences of the war arjun does not want to fight the war and he gives his own reasons that this war is going to result in so many killings and he is going to lose so many of his kith and kin relatives and some of them are very dear to him some of them are his guru his close relatives his mentors teachers guides philosophers so how to kill them and how to indulge in this war which will result in so many deaths so many men will die and what will happen to the women so he talks about the problems the widowed women will face and about the progeny that such a situation will bring about and he pre- he presents a very gloomy picture of the future should the war go ahead so this is called arjun's lamentation arjun vishad yog it starts with dhritarashtra asking sanjay धर्म क्षेत्रे कुरु क्षेत्रे संवेता युत्सव मामका पांडव किम कुरुवत संजय ओ डियर संजय प्लीज टेल मी व्हाट डिड माय सन्स डू एंड व्हाट डिड द सन्स ऑफ माय ब्रदर डू इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दुर्योधन एंड इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द पांडव इन द बैटल फील्ड विच ई डिस्क्राइब्स एज धर्म क्षेत्र एंड कुरु क्षेत्र एंड इन द चैप्टर वी हैव लर्न दैट Duryodhan first observes the army he talks to his commander who is Dronacharya he assesses the army he says the strength of uh, Pandavas is limited but our strength is unlimited and uh, he he says that we are definitely going to win so then the next uh, next uh, phase in the chapter is about everyone blowing the conch shells and that is the declaration of the war and in the and in the next uh, segment of the chapter it's all about arjun's lamentation his uh, his uh, talk about how the war will result in so many problems etc so finally arjun says na kanche vijayam krishna na cha rajyam sukhani cha na cha rajena govinda kim kim no rajena govinda kim bhogair jivitena va he talks about the futility of the war which will see the decimation of so many kithankin of his so so that's the chapter and uh, the last verse it ends with the last verse it ends with is eva mukta वा अर्जुन संख्य रथोपस्थ उपाविशत विसृज्य शशरम चापम शोक संविघ्न मानसा 
he casts aside the bow and arrow saying that I am not going to fight and he sits on the chariot. So we got a good glimpse of the first chapter and now in the second chapter which some say is the summary of the entire Bhagavad Gita. It is such an important chapter, the Sankhya, the complete spiritual science summary which has got the second highest number of shlokas, verses in Bhagavad Gita. The longest chapter is last chapter 18, 78 verses and the second longest is the second chapter, 72 verses. So in the first verse, in the first verse, Sanjay is saying, Tam tatha kripya vishtam ashru purna kulekchanam visitantam idam vakyam uvacha madhusudana. This is simple Sanskrit. Tam tatha kripya vishtam ashru purna kulekchanam. Arjun is in tears and Ikshanam means the eyes, Ashrupurn with full of tears. Kripya Vishtam means he is in a pitiable state. And Sri Krishna is going to say the following words is this verse all about. And then such a magnificent series of knowledge begins. In which first Shri Krishna says, Arjun, what are you lamenting about? The body? You are not the body, you are the soul which never dies. So we get a very important, in a way, the most important piece of knowledge that we are not the body. So what are we? We are the soul. So when we say, I am John or I am Ramesh, that is not the right knowledge. That is our name. The name could have been any name. That would not have changed us. So we can simply say that we are not our name. Sim similarly, if we say we are an accountant or we are a teacher, again, that is what we studied. If we, if we had studied a different subject, we wouldn't have become different. We would have been the same. So, we are not our profession also. And similarly, we can say that whatever we say, we are an Indian or we are an American, these are all situational. These are all contextual. That does not define ourselves. And if we analyze cautiously, we will believe in it that we are not any one of these. Then what are we? The spiritual spark that came into the mother's womb around which the body developed and the spiritual spark that leaves the body when we are declared dead. That spiritual spark is the soul which is very well defined in so many scriptures and if that is our true identity then we should know that the soul is eternal so where is the question of dying we are just moving from one place to another depending on our belief system if we believe in the law of reincarnation we are going to take another body because we have three bodies gross body subtle body and causal body gross body is the one which is made up of fire, water, air, earth, space. Subtle body is made up of knowledge senses, the action senses, karmendriya, gyanendriya. The life is prana. Mind, intellect and ego, these constitute the subtle body. So, just because a person does not have gross body, that does not mean he doesn't exist. He is existing. He may have a subtle body. That is the body of a ghost. And the causal body which is a stock of karma. Whatever karma we have transacted in so many lives. There is a deposit of that. That stock is called Karan Sharir. Causal body. So Sukshma Sharir. 
कारण शरीर एंड अस्थूल शरीर मेनी टाइम्स वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इट सो इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड द सोल इज ऑलवेज एसोसिएटेड विद दीज थ्री बॉडीज ओनली वेन द सोल गेट्स लिबरेटेड ऑल दीज आर कास्ट असाइड एंड देन द सोल बिकम्स डिवाइन एंड दैट इज अनदर नॉलेज विच इज ऑल्सो डिस्क्राइब्ड इन ग्रेट डिटेल सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ सेकेंड चैप्टर वेर वी लर्न अबाउट द द इनविंसिबिलिटी ऑफ द सोल द इमोर्टैलिटी ऑफ द सोल द कॉन्टिन्यूटी ऑफ द सोल द एटर्निटी ऑफ द सोल नयनम छिंदी शस्त्रि नयनम दहती पावक चैनम क्लेदयंत्यापो न शोष्यति मारुत अकलेद्यो अदाह्यो अशोष्यम च ऑल दैट सो मच कृष्णा इज स्पोक इन अबाउट आश्चर्यवत कश्चिद पश्यति कश्चिदेन सम फाइंड इट सो अमेजिंग सम डिस्क्राइब इट्स एज सो अमेजिंग सो ऑल दिज वर्सेस अबाउट द सोल इज टू गिव अस द नॉलेज दैट वी नेवर डाई and this is such an important knowledge that it takes away lot of our worries and and unnecessarily unnecessary stress the fear of dying which is called abhinivesh so shri krishna continues in this chapter after talking about the soul he talks about the swadharma what is it that we should do what karma we should not let go we should continue to do then he talks about karma yog buddhi yog which is to work but not about the results caring about the results work without attachment to the fruits of the work that is karma yog or buddhi yog then he talks about how to control the mind he gives the example of a tortoise which contracts its limbs when it faces danger and so many other beautiful verses about the mind control the mind management like thousands of rivers are flowing into the ocean but the ocean remains undisturbed similarly the mind of a yogi is such that it receives so many inputs with desires and temptations but it remains steady and unperturbed such a person goes into the state of bliss which is spoken of in the last verse esa brahmi sthiti partha nay naam prapya vimuhyati sthit va sham ant kale pi ब्रह्म निर्वाणम ऋच्छति ब्रह्म निर्वाणम ऋच्छति सच अ पर्सन अटेन्स द ब्रह्म निर्वाण द अल्टीमेट स्टेट ऑफ ब्लिस एंड पीस इफ ही हैज इंटरनलाइज द टीचिंग्स ऑफ द सेकेंड चैप्टर अबाउट द सोल अबाउट बीइंग स्थित प्रज्ञ अबाउट डूइंग वर्क विदाउट अटैचमेंट टू द फ्रूट्स and working to attain a state of equipoise etc etc so once again the first verse and the last verse we have covered the first chapter arjun vishad yog arjun's lamentation about the consequences of the war and the second chapter sankh yog analytical study of the spiritual science so we have seen that the knowledge of the first and the last verse gives us a very beautiful birds eye view of the entire chapter so let's meet up again in the next uh, session in the next video and we talk about the third chapter and we can cover all 18 chapters in such a manner and this becomes a theme for our meditation when we sit in padmasan with eyes closed and the back straight we meditate on this knowledge and perform the most important element of formula 44 which is meditation and if we 
do this uh, sincerely the other seven elements pranayam walking surya namaskar sun salutation breathing exercises the food habits nuts fruits taking three glasses of warm water in the morning all those will fit into the slots take care and see you again in the next video